Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Sex with Emily. On today's show, I'm tackling your sex questions with porn star Joanna Angel. Topics include best tips for getting started with anal play and why you just might need to take your time to reach orgasm. All this and more, thanks for listening. Look into his eyes. They're the eyes of a man obsessed by sex. Eyes that mock our sacred institutions. Bedroom eyes, they call them in a bygone day. Hey, Emily, you got a boyfriend? Because uh, my man E here, he just got his heart broken. He thinks you're kind of cute. A girl's got to have her standards. Oh, my. Do women know about shrinkage? Isn't it common knowledge? What do you mean, like laundry? It shrinks? Can we not talk about sex so much? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, I feel so good. Being bad feels pretty good. Well, you know, Emily's not the kind of girl you just play with. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Sex with Emily. We're talking about sex, relationships, and everything in between. For more information, go to sexwithemily.com because you know there's a lot you can do there. You can easily subscribe to the podcast. You can ask us a question. Go to the Ask Emily tab. That's the easiest way to do it. Send us a question. You can follow us on all social media because I feel like that's like a second job that I actually really like doing. So check that. I like the stuff too. I'm saying I like all my jobs, but check it out if you ever want to see what happens, what's happening in the office, what's happening in my life. Obviously, at Sex with Emily across the board, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, facebook.com slash sex with Emily. Don't miss our weekly newsletter. I've told I give really good newsletter and that just makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. So sign up for that and our blogs and all that stuff. And welcome to everybody to the show. I have to say that... It's kind of been amazing the last few months. We have so many new listeners. It's crazy. It's like, I mean, really, we've had the largest influx of listeners that we've had in a long time. So welcome to all my new subscribers and listeners. And thanks for um, telling your friends about the show and listening to the podcast and being part of the Sex with Emily family. I'm excited for my special guest today. She's so special. She hasn't been here in months. She's adorable and hot. Just check out my Instagram after this to see pictures Um, because when this airs, Our snaps will be gone because we are doing some sexy snaps now. We're getting naked and stuff. So I'm sorry you missed that. But I'm with Joanna Angel. Hi, Joanna. Hi. How are you? It's good to be back. It's good to see you. Joanna Angel is amazing. She's an award-winning performer, (laughs) writer, director in the adult industry. She's well-known. This is your official bio. It's my official bio. For being the creator of (laughs) BurningAngel.com. Pornography site catering. This is from one of your lashes. Catering to alternative and punk rock tastes. How would you introduce yourself, Joanna Angel, if you um, had to do it on your own? If I had to do it on my own, I am. I'm, I'm Joanna Angel. <laughs> I'm a I'm a director and a porn star. I call myself a porn entrepreneur. Porn entrepreneur. Yeah, I love it. You yeah. are a porn entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah. Right. Kind of do like a little of everything in the adult industry, and um, I don't know. Just uh, that's me. I love it. Yeah, oh, I'm I'm happy you're here. And sometimes you, you've co-hosted the show, which is kind of what we're doing today. We're gonna be we're talking about. I've got a lot of questions from the emails, listeners. I want you to help me with. We're going to yeah, be talking about. I'm happy to help. You know, May um, Masturbation Month. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> yeah, every you know, month is Masturbation exactly. Month. Exactly. Well, that right. Yeah. So for a lot of us, it is. It's a big part of my life, your yeah. life. Um, we are doing um, this month though, in particular. We are kind of enforcing, enforcing. We're making people masturbate. I'm enforcing you all to masturbate because. So good for you. It's, it's important. very important, actually. I and it's. I think a lot of people forget to masturbate. Women forget to masturbate. Exactly right. Most particularly, yeah. Do you? Okay, but you have a lot of sex. Your day job, and then do. you have a boyfriend you live with. Right? Not as much. Well, husband now. Husband. <gasps> but, um, you got married when? I did. I when got did married. You? I got married on Halloween. Oh my god! I did, yeah. Congratulations. At the, at the ripe young age of. Uh, 35. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. You guys, it's congratulations. A, thank you. You guys yeah, have been together a while. In, in Hol- on Halloween in Vegas. I planned of it in, about, in about a week. Yeah. I'm sure. I got but married that's... by the Grim Reaper. You did? In in like uh, zombie makeup and stuff. Yeah, it was really Oh cool. my God. How else would you do it though? Yeah. Congratulations. Was, okay, so you have a husband. Do you still, mm-hmm. mas- do you find time to masturbate? Um, yeah. And I actually, it's, you know, I, I want everyone to know I probably don't have as much sex as people think I do, you know, because I actually do get very busy. Right. <laughs> and, um, and I, you know, I, I do... I only shoot a lot of people think okay you're a porn star that means you're in a porn 24-7 and unless you take like a small break to go <laughs> exactly. to the bathroom and eat that means you're literally in a porn you know like I own a company I direct I produce I, I direct a lot more than I shoot these days um, but uh, so I'm probably only actually on film you know like two or three days out of the right. month and sometimes um, some months go by where I'm not on film at all I just I just film other people 
And sometimes I get really busy. Um, but And I forget to masturbate a lot. Sometimes I'll be like in a really cranky. I'll be in a really bad mood, you know. And then I'm just like, what's wrong with me? Why am I being such a bitch? And then right. like I'll masturbate. And I'm like, that's why. Exactly. I needed to masturbate. And, and there's something very special about being able to get yourself off and not... I think a lot of women, they forget that they can get themselves off. They think that they have to find somebody else to please them, whether it's a man or a woman, you know, however you identify yourself and whatever gender you're attracted to, you know, like I feel like a lot of women, they they get in the habit of of being very codependent and they're like, I'm horny. I need to find someone to give me attention and get me off. And it's like, you can do it yourself and it's important. And whether you're married, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're having a good day or a bad day, like, you know, I think it's very important for women to masturbate. I wish I started earlier. I think it would have fixed a lot of my, (laughs) my crazy childhood, you know, like I think, or maybe I wouldn't say childhood, like, like, you know, like a later, later, early early adulthood. I think I would have been a much more confident person. And a lot of my issues when I was younger based for out of, you know, just feeling weird in right. my own skin you know and i think it could really help so you know it's a strange thing i don't have kids or anything but right. how, do, how do parents say like masturbate like that's or a exactly. creepy well, thing to say to your kids this is the you know? problem i didn't either masturbate until i was like 20 i, I don't even, even think know. of it as like a sexual dirty thing it's just it's just it's about, about pleasure. confidence and understanding pleasure your body and knowing your body exactly i really i don't i did not know my body at all until i was like probably 23 years old you know right? it was and then like you, a, a basically a blob connected to my head well, you that's know? how most women a lot of women it are is. walking around the planet feeling like well i'm dressing sexy or i want attention from men i feel right. sexy but there's a total disconnect there's from their body yeah. and 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 then when they have sex with someone they don't know what to say or what to do because they don't even know what's getting themselves off they're just right. kind of flopping around waiting for the other person exactly to, like to i control or they're trying to mimic what they see in pornos or like this and that you know and they're just not they just don't have, the masturbation really does build confidence. It's, I strongly believe that. Yeah, I know. And it's a release. And it's, yeah. um, I feel like the same thing. Like, even though it's like literally my job to masturbate, whereas I have people sending me toys and products that I want to try to see if I like them. And if I, I like know. them, I want to tell my listeners that I like them. And they're like lined up sometimes. And I'm like, I've got six to toys to try. More toys. Yeah. You do? I do do I you do. want a toy for, I'll give you a toy. Can for, you give me some toys? Of course, okay. dude. I, yeah. Yes, you would never don't leave here empty handed. Yeah. I know we both like the magic wand. We've talked about that. We right? do. Everybody likes the magic oh, wand. Oh yeah, magic wand's like yeah. a, a given, but I've got some new goodies for yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna try don't some toys. I'm gonna you. use them and I'll I'll just plug it now, even though I'll plug everything later. I do I you know, all the pornos, all the movies I direct is on burningangel.com, but I started an OnlyFans page, which I'm kind of relentlessly promoting, which I know is annoying everyone. But <laughs> OnlyFans.com slash Joanna Angel. I do it's Slow actually down, say it's that again. you're talking faster oh, than I am, which is kind of awesome. Because I get what you're saying. Yeah, you get it. OnlyFans.com slash Joanna Angel, but um it's on topic because I have been masturbating on there almost every day. And it's been great because now I like, don't forget to masturbate. <laughs> and my husband is actually happy. He's like, this is really great. You're so much more relaxed now. It's you know? so true. So I've been like, just every day, I've just been like turning it on and masturbating on there. And sometimes How are you people mas- are, Tell me about your masturbation routine. Um, oh, oh, wait, that cuts me to what I was saying. Oh. Before you answer that question, I'm doing a special contest this month for Masturbation Month, lest you need more motivation to masturbate. If you email me your favorite masturbation routine, like if you have a special ritual, a toy, music, like you have a whole thing that you do, or even if it's a little thing you do, I want to hear how you masturbate. I want to hear. Email yeah. me, feedback at sexwithelmy.com if you're over 18, um, and you submit your email before midnight on May 31st, you'll be eligible to win a Sex with Emily Masturbation Month prize. We'll be ex- selecting four winners Based on your emails, I'll be judging it along with my trusty team and getting you very pleasing, pleasurable, delicious packages. Okay, so what is your masturbation routine? Maybe we can inspire some people for um, a new one. It's nothing. It's nothing crazy. Doesn't I matter. Mean, it doesn't have yeah. to be like right for me. I'm like, is it charged? I'm ready to go. Yeah, you right. know, I usually I I just use my fingers. You know, I I rub my clit like really hard. Really That's hard. Really do you I warm do. it? Do you use lube? No. I just stick my fingers in my mouth. Maybe I should use lube. You should. I should use lube. Okay, you're leaving here with some with lube. Some lube, okay. Yeah, because saliva sometimes, you don't know where it's... It's true. Some, you're right, you're right. Right, yeah. Just, no lube, and also your your clitoris doesn't self-lubricate. So I know true. we need the lube the, for our mouth. Yeah, no, I have used lube I'm before, and it always feels really good. And I'm like, I should do this next I time. love that I'm, I'm giving, giving you I'm tips. Yeah, yeah. No, this is amazing. So we're going to give you some lube. I'm going to give I'm, you... I'm trying to think what I could give you. Like, have you tried the I, womanizer yet? No. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, I, I try to tell people all the time. I'm really, I'm not like a sex 
I know. Expert. I'm a porn <laughs> expert. I'm pretty good at doing porn. I'm not the oh, best, dude. but I'm pretty damn You're good. Pretty damn good at doing porn. She I can't, built an empire. But I'm not like I don't know. You know, like I've. Uh, Two I'm Jewish not a girls walk expert. into a bar. I know it One's sounds like it, should, yeah, no, I know, it, it sounds like it should be the same thing, but it's actually not. No, I get it. No, dude, but you yeah. in many ways you know a lot about it, yeah. expert. You, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. joking about the lube thing. I mean, yeah. of course. No, it's, I'm always taking tips lube. from people. But yeah, so I, we'll give I you like, some lube. Yeah. The point is, yeah. So for me, it's like I did. But talk going back to the stress relief, I call it procrastination because typically I'm procrastinating about something around the house. I'm like, I'm just going to masturbate first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should work out. I'm going to masturbate. I should write this quote. I want to masturbate. And then I do. Great. Feels so great. And then time goes by sometimes, and I, it's happening recently. I've had like a stressful few months, not the whole few months, but certain pockets of time where I've been like dealing with stuff. And I just feel like masturbation just we'll was fix off the table. Right. And then I did, and I was like, oh my God, I think it's been a month since I've masturbated. For me, that's, you know. No, that's a long time. I was yeah. like, whoa, it was like this huge release. And I felt like, like the birds were chirping, like if it was a cartoon, like there'd be all these animals following me and singing kind of like, you know, Snow White or whatever one it was. I felt like so happy. Yeah. And so, yeah, we got to release it and we got to do it. I felt yeah. like there was like, oh, the birds were singing. Do it. Sometimes even when my husband's like asleep, I like just masturbate. And he hears me sometimes and he he likes it. He thinks it's hot. He's right. like, oh, that's Does so he wake cool. up and he's like. So, um, sometimes, most of the time he doesn't, you know, he's he's a very deep sleeper. Right. But he'll tell me the next day like, oh. Uh, you were masturbating. I'm like, I just had, it had to be done. Yeah, and and, you know? and let's talk about. I get a lot of questions from people all the time who are like very confused by their partner's masturbation. We've already said how healthy yeah. it is here, but just just to reinforce the fact that totally normal. Your husband wasn't like, why are you masturbating without me? Because we all need that release on our own yeah. for many reasons. It's good for your health. It's good for your mind. It's good for you know understanding your body. I, I guess I'm not as. I think I don't know. I masturbate a lot, but if my if I do see my husband masturbating, I'm like, what the fuck? You do? What's wrong with me? Huh? Do you do that? I do. I do. Dude, this is what we're telling women not to do. Oh, okay. Well, I do it. You get, <laughs> you get mad at him? I do. Because what? You're like, because, okay, okay. Because you're every. But you like know, every, I have to say my husband's no, My husband actually mean, doesn't masturbate that much because he does porn. So wait, but, between doing porn and satisfying me. But do you really feel know like that sperm could have been mine? Or yeah, what do you feel? I do. Are you trying to get I pregnant? Do. No. Okay, no. just like in general, you yeah, feel I like. I just want it because I'm a bitch. Right. <laughs> So you're like, how dare you yeah. masturbate without me? Because I would have had sex with you right now. But yeah. you understand then for men that it. they need that relief no, on their own I understand. as well. Stress and reliever. my husband, he does porn. So it's totally different. That you is know, so his, funny. his sperm schedule, it, people don't understand how difficult it is to date, you know, like Tell a me about performer, that. you know, like it, it's a whole thing, you know, because if he's. But you were the performer first. I and was. Then you I got him, him in the industry. You pushed and then, him in, and, and now it's like, annoying. Yeah, and now it's it, it's the sex isn't annoying, and I love our life. You know, like it's it's fun. But sometimes, like I mean, the sex he has on camera is not what I, you know. But it's just it's the scheduling that I kind of forgot about because this, I guess this is my second time. <laughs> with a, you know, I dated another male performer for a really long time, and yeah, I kind of did. forgot about this part. You know, right? Um, but it's like it's pretty common. You know, when a man I don't know how many most people don't know this when a man has to has to come on camera, you know, like he, he can't have wild sex the night before. Right. He just can't. Some of them can. It's rare. Right. My Maybe husband, if they're 20. What? Yeah, exactly. Maybe if they're 20 or they're just, right. I don't know. I find that Europeans are like born with a different chem- sexual chemical I'm makeup and they're Europe. capable of doing anything. I don't know. It's just different. Right. But even, even <laughs> some of that. But for the most part, you know, like he can't, he can't have a wild night of sex the night before and like, like baseball players you usually, too, right? exactly you usually don't know your schedule till the day before it's pretty common for a director to be like oh your call time tomorrow is this it's 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 rare for a right. porn director to actually give you your info a week before so it's kind of like as soon as we know his info the next day we have to like schedule our sex, sex. <laughs> and then which you- is funny sometimes you know so if he's got to be on set at eight o'clock in the morning like we're not going to be able to bone the right. night before, but and we'll know that like if he has to be on eight, eight, on set at eight o'clock in the morning the next day after that, we'll know that like we have to have sex as soon as he gets home from work that day, or it's probably not going to wait, happen. Like, right? Yeah, he kind of needs like a good twelve hours to like refill the tank, that makes you sense. know, or like we'll have sex. I mean, we've gotten kind of creative. Like a lot of it's just like he can't come. You know, so a lot of times he'll go down on me for a while. Oh, and we'll, perfect! And we'll have, like I know you can't yeah, come, but <laughs> yeah, but I can. <laughs> right. So like we'll have sex for like you know, 
for like until he's like almost there and then we'll kind of stop you know and then he'll go down on me and then we kind of switch around people don't realize how much we sacrifice just so he I'm can sure. give the world <laughs> a beautiful is performance is he on your site you know? as well yeah, yeah 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 okay. so I mean we perform together and you perform, oh my god yeah. that's hot it's a thing it's really it's like being an athlete you know it's right. different for women we just we, we just can keep done. coming we and coming and coming I'm never like oh I've came too many times right? yeah exactly like, I can like 16 times do whatever okay here's my question especially during masturbation sorry if I went no I can I can dedicate but, but here's my question that, for you. Anyway. A quick question for you is that I want to know since he's so you've been in porn for yeah, twelve forever, years, yeah, fifty years. 50 years. Yeah. So he's new to porn. You, yeah, it's about but two you've years been now. together for a while. So yeah, I'm we've been together for five how, years. How how he's changed sexually or how your sex life has changed since he's gotten into porn, at, at all, if at all. Yeah. Well, that I mean that is a way besides of, that. Yeah, besides but the I mean scheduling, we used to I just mean pleasure. I mean, I'm not gonna be like like he knows it. He would. I made him more aggressive in bed you know you taught I mean, him how to be more aggressive I did I did Through- I mean I basically taught him how to fuck like a porn star before he even became a porn star just for my own personal how benefit you, give because me an it's example. kind of just what I need right right give me <laughs> an example really when fuck we, like a porn star yeah. like how you well yeah like a lot of like porn. just a lot of like the porn stars that I really like and that I connect to in scenes you know we, we give each other a lot of eye contact we like talk dirty to each other a lot you know, just a lot of like, just a, a lot of just very, a lot of it just comes from confidence. You know, I'm just like, like, you know, when you're, when you're with someone in bed yep. and like, they don't really know what to do and they know it's like, just pick something and do it okay, and like commit is, to it. Okay. You know? So wait, like, Joanna, I, this is, I can't tell you how many pe- men you're going to be helping in this moment. Oh, who I are so helping people. <laughs> no, listen to me. What I'm saying is I want to go back to this. You're saying that just pick it. So I think guys are going, do I take off her shirt now? Do I do this? You're no, like, I yeah, don't care what you Let your body do. guide you. You know, let your penis guide you. Let your libido guide you. Like, just be like, oh, I really want to see her tits and grab her tits. Whether that means her shirt's on or her shirt's off, it doesn't matter. Like, if you want to grab her tits, just grab her tits. You know, like, just kind of like let your body, like, guide you and just, just do it. You what know? about men and like, who are so and it's worried not about consent about, and they're worried about women saying, you, can't, you, could you say mean, grab, yeah. it could be touch. It could be it touch, could be, yeah. you've never touched I mean, her look, boobs. It, it could be just, a, but just focus on her boobs in right. that moment. Yeah, I mean, I think once two people, I, I mean, it, that's a difficult thing because you don't want to violate um, any kind of consent, but you also don't want to be like overthinking that well, the right. entire no, time. I'm just trying to walk sex. the line here. So, right. But you so remember I, Joanna's I a porn. She knows what kind of yeah. sex she likes. But what you're saying is to guys, get out of your head and get into your body. Yeah. And just be like, yeah. if you want it, like tell her, even just tell her like, God, you're so hot. I want to grab you. And then yeah, do it. She doesn't do say it. no. And she's yeah. like, she yeah, obviously, once she says no, you stop, you know. Right, but, but if she's think, like, wow, I because I know for me, like, like if feel out the that, other, you know, person's energy. And a lot of people think fucking like a porn star just means really long and really hard and really fast, but it's, it's not necessarily, it's what the does intensity. It mean? Okay, tell me. I think it's the intensity. Like, I think for me personally, yeah. There's different types of porn scenes, and the ones that I'm always like, "Yes, that was amazing." Whether I'm directing it or performing it, it's when you just feel this like really intense energy, this really intense physical connection, you know, which just like, and if that means two people are having really slow, passionate sex where they just can't stop kissing each other, and the girl's like coming again and again, and the, I, and I don't know, and they're just very kind of close and like on top right. of each other the whole time, then then that, you know, that. That would be what I mean. Or if it, if if the energy just kind of feels right for something more rough and you know and right, and, it's hot. And yeah, just like just connect with the person, look in their eyes, you know. And I just love that eye contact is so important. It is. And it's I feel really like important. You a lot know? of people are afraid of intimacy, and they're like the eye contact goes out the window. Yeah, and you know what? I also I even say this when I'm directing um, porn scenes. When um, not everybody's like me, a lot of porn directors they want to get like as many different positions as possible. Like I'm like, if you guys are having fun in a position, just stay there. Like the whole point is to have fun, you know. Right. Like if you're having fun, it's going to be entertaining. And when you're having fun, you're going to make different noises and you're probably going to move around a little bit in that one position and you're right. going to say different things as opposed to like three minutes here, three minutes here, three minutes here. Right. You know? You're not really so you're kind of letting them go with what's ever happening in the moment. Yeah, because I want think to break if that flow. yeah, I will break if the flow is awkward, then I'll be like, oh, okay, I'll try to force it to be more exciting by changing up positions or giving them ideas of what to say and stuff like that. I mean, it happens sometimes. You could be right. directing porn and two people are just, they're just not clicking or right, somebody's exactly. not in the mood that day. And th- then you're going to have to like go into faking it mode, which is fine. But if two people are really into it and they're having so much fun, like you don't have to tell them to like, 
to, right. to move no, around. No, that's good. You know? That's good. You like the, the, the energy and the chemistry. Yeah, and like even just, just having you describe that. But it's a physical chemistry, which is different than uh, than a mental. You know, you could connect. How do you really create strong. that physical chemistry with someone you don't know as a porn star? I don't know. I mean, everybody's got their their so own different explain. like but erogenous right. zones. You know, like I, I, every time I'm with a, a partner in a scene, even if it's somebody I've worked with a hundred times, even if it's with my own husband, you know, like. I kind of just like spend the first couple of minutes like making out with them and just sort of like figuring out like what to do. Like when I'm giving them a blowjob, I'm like, okay, like does the top feel better? Does the bottom feel better? Do hands feel better? Does it's spit different feel better? for every guy. Yeah, it's different. And it, it could be the same guy. It's different on every day of the week, you know, it could That's be so true. You know what I mean? So, so you do kind of like a blowjob litmus test. So yeah. I want to yeah, understand A blowjob litmus test, a hand job litmus test. You know, like sometimes I'll just take my fingers and rub up and down their chest. You know, sometimes I'll kiss their neck. Sometimes I'll kiss their ears. And then some people, like I'm feeling a little more like submissive, you know, and I just kind of like be kissing them and I'll just like whisper in their ear, like, like just fucking take me and like treat me like a whore or something. And they'll just <laughs> throw me down and then there's no litmus test. Then they're just going crazy on me if I'm getting that kind of vibe, right, you know? right. Um, God, it's so fun. Pick it is fun. Sex. Yeah, it's like, it's like you know, but it, part of having sex is you know just being intuitive and paying attention to the other person. And a lot of that you know comes with experience, and some of it just comes with age. You right, know? that's like, true. Too. Experience <laughs> and mean, age is the same thing. Because yeah. a lot of my listeners, well, they're all different ages, but I do get a lot from people who are like starting out or trying to understand it. It's like, yeah, just pay attention totally. Too. Just pay attention God, and follow so- your own body, and it's it's like you know it's like. Uh, Singing, singing a song together. So we, but it's Masturbation it. Month. So we should focus on the masturbation. <laughs> no, we're done with masturbation. No, we, you got it. It was you Masturbation got the, Oh, we actually do have a story. I actually do have a note about Masturbation Month. A, um, a little thing about Masturbation Month saying that you should... This is our Sex in the News segment that we do. Sex in the News. Our business can start sanctioning masturbation breaks at work. In other words, That's masturbation it could be That's a recommended weird. totally normal thing. In businesses, can you imagine? If like, I had a regular job, I mean, even in in my house, or I don't. Yeah, your husband's not allowed to masturbate. If my what the camera hell? guy took a break to masturbate, I'd be really weirded out. <laughs> right, you're like, did you use my towels that's in the bathroom? Appropriate on a porn set, then it's definitely going to be inappropriate anywhere. Else. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, so not there, but what they're saying is like, um, you know, it's but a, what are they going to do? They're going to be a designated I room. I don't know how this is ever yeah. going to work. Like I at the feel airport, like when I'm the, the smoking type of person lounges. that should say that's great, but I'm saying let's keep it exactly. figure it out. Pass it by the porn stars first. Yeah. Okay, legislators, keep That's your weird. keep Washington and out of my pants. You know that's going to lead to all sorts of sexual harassment suits. No, but it's true. It but really the, okay, is. but here's I know. I mean, and here I feel like my job is like go home and masturbate, take a toy. That's right. your job. But yeah, if I mean, right here we're having a great conversation. I think you're very hot, and um, but if you just started masturbating right now it would be kind of awkward right, in the room right, right exactly. now like, it would be it would be maybe yeah. I don't know Michael's like been doing sound for a few months now yeah. and he's probably waiting for <laughs> masturbation to happen but um, so here's the thing this is why it came out it says if you're already grossed out which some people would be hearing about this recent survey suggests that 30-40% of your office mates already masturbate while on the job your camera guy he says he's going out to smoke a cigarette. He's, he's <laughs> masturbating, know, okay? There's no way. There's on your, no way. On your azalea bushes. Yeah. <laughs> um, it says, you know, and then it says um, they're not just doing because they're bored. They So they're saying that a, a, bio, a biological output while at work actually helps them be more productive and creative. Are they going to have well, a special masturbation thing. bathroom? I don't know. They can't like, do it by their desks. No. no. Well, no, you can't, but I don't know where you go. Like, and you then need in the bathroom, a lot of antibacterial spray and stuff for your hands extra tissues um but there's no research that says masturbation is bad for you we all know it can prevent cancer boost your moody improve your sex life so should your office sanction it this is never going to fly anywhere in the no i think it's and it's kind of i don't know i mean as someone like i've done webcam shows and stuff and i've talked to guys like oh i'm at my office at work this is so wrong and like whatever and you know and they want to like masturbate to me really quickly and then they go go on with their day like and i get it you're fine fine. They're they're not on your payroll no exactly and that's fine but if it was Sanctioned by it, like this is mas- like nap <laughs> what time. If you don't feel yeah. like it? Right. It's, like in, it's like nap time in kindergarten. Right, you can do it your lunch break, whatever right. you want. Um, yeah. But they say they should only. But they say masturbation breaks should only be taken if they're motivated by stress relief and a genuine desire for a break, and not if they're driven by intense lust. I don't know how you're going to discern gonna, yeah. between lust. Is this going to be like? 
I'm just saying everyone should just masturbate this month. Yeah, Man, mutual masturbation, masturbate. huge fan yeah. of mutual masturbation. You can wake up in the morning and do it. You can do it in the shower. You could do it kind of while you drive. You know what you I realized? Exactly. I've been kind of doing these twofer things that I realized I have all these amazing toys and, and most of them now are waterproof. Right. I want to give you some amazing ones. Yeah, I'll really, give you. I, mean, I, I need more. Wish. I feel I know. like my OnlyFans page, they must be getting bored of me just sticking my do, fingers inside do, me every day. I need to well, get more Well, probably enough. not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say no. But I've got, if you ever use any of the um, Weave Vibe toys like the Tango or the I've Touch, heard, the Clitoral. I mean, I've heard, I heard they're amazing. Yeah. But it's the ones they work with your phone, right? Oh, yeah. They have ones that work with your phone, yeah. but they also have. And then you can, you have the, your like partner can yes. use it from like across the, the country, Vibe. Right? I'll give yeah. you the sync, the Wee Vibe yeah. sync that you can use with, with your partner. But also just for you, I like, yeah, I'm trying like, to think, I'm trying to think will be, no, I want you a Clitoral one. Yeah. I'm going to give you the Womanizer, which I call the Clit Whisperer because mm-hmm. it's kind of like stimulates oral sex in a vibrator. It's amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. I've seen those it's before. Like, it's like pleasure air technology. Yeah. Like, Sucks your clitoris like what we all want, and yeah. then I want to give you like some wee vibe, like a clitoral toy. Anyway, back to that's your that's your little goodie bag when you leave. Oh, I was going to say that a lot of toys are waterproof, and I realize that since I don't often have time, I'm too I'm too tired tonight to masturbate. Most of you are too tired to have sex. I put them in my shower now. I'm like, yeah, I'm showering. I masturbate like it's done. Exactly. It's awesome. So I'll give you some of those. Um, and now we're going to, we're going to answer some emails. So hang by. We're going to give a shout out to our sponsors. I'm with Joanna Angel. You got to check out all of the amazing stuff she has. This is also going to be on our website. All of your ways to find you. Burningangel.com. Yeah, burningangel.com. And, um, we'll be right back. Uh, thank you for supporting our sponsors and for listening. We'll be back with your emails. Thanks. Okay. Now we're on to your emails. Um, I have a question if you want me to answer on the show. I love it. Just submit your questions. Sexwithemily.com. Click on the Ask Emily tab. Fill out the form. Hit submit. So easy. If you want to be called Joanna, we've been taking callers lately. It's been really fun. Next time you come on, we'll have some calls. Oh, you calls. can take callers. Yes, it's really fun. We plan them ahead of time. some advanced shit. Uh, dude, we, we are get It's going crazy I, here. I can tell. So people just <laughs> check yes and then we will um, we'll call you. So do that. Oh, when you send me an email or however you do it, your age, where you live, and how you listen to the show. I was going to say, you can also leave me a voicemail, 818-ASK-SWE1. Ready for the emails? Dear Emily, after being with a few guys, I've noticed that it doesn't matter the size of a guy's penis or where we're having sex, whether it be the couch, the floor, or the bed. If I'm on top of him, either front-facing or reverse cowgirl, his penis always slips out. It's always when it's getting good, and I probably get carried away. But my question is, am I doing something wrong, and how do I stop it from slipping out? Mandy, age 27, Australia. She's having some slippage. I'm thinking she's probably just doing a little too up and down and to do some more grinding. She might be, she might be actually be doing something wrong. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, tell me. What's she doing wrong? I mean, it could be like, his penis might be like a little curvy and she's not like, she's kind of like going against the curve. Oh, okay. I've actually seen this happen a lot in porn movies. It's like sometimes the girls like, like try leaning back. You know what I mean? Like sometimes right. when you lean back, it can really go all the way, all the way in. Okay. You know, it's probably, it sounds like it's almost like going halfway in and then falling out. Right. Do you know what I mean? So she should like, go forward, she should lean, lean forward back, if it's a curvy penis. Lean back, lean back. back. when it's, when reverse you're, cowgirl when, when you you're not it. facing the guy. Reverse cowgirl. Right. I don't know why I always get this wrong. It's I've hard. only been informed for 15 years, you know. <laughs> when you're, Cause you don't even need the yeah. name. It's like, it's like a you dance. You lean back and then the guy can kind of fuck you. Right. Almost, you know, you're laying mean? back on him. You're leaning cowgirl. back, like you know, you're leaning back, and the guy can be like, eh, 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 right? You know? <laughs> I mean, she can see what she's doing. Yeah, now. like she, you, you know, so then he can kind of get deeper in you. I think he's like not going deep enough in you, right? And so how she yeah. can do that is by but she reverse yeah. cowgirl lay back on his chest. Yeah, lay back. Head. Yeah, like put your arms back and like lay back. You know, not all the way back. Not like right. you're lying down, but just lean back. So his his penis is kind of like sliding exactly. up into you in an angle. Okay, and then the other way, lean forward right I think you need to like a 90 degree angle She's a 90 your degree, vagina exactly <laughs> she might be too much like up and down straight well, i think a lot of women yeah. look at uh missionary or not missionary they look at cowgirl and reverse as going up and down because don't yeah. they do that in porn a lot up and yeah, down, up you and down. Do. but for me even i need more book thrusting i need more yeah of the grinding yeah and my clitoris like then he, if you're grinding back and forth he's not going anywhere yeah so yeah i kind of think that's good too but, but, but I, try and make make sure you I mean, it is, it might be the shape of his dick, but it's like when you first do it, I like go all the way up and all the way down, like really slowly, yeah. you know, to make sure you're actually in. getting the whole dick inside of you. Right. Exactly. You know That's I mean? true too. It might not already be there. It might not be fully hard. Right. Yeah. But it could have curved. That's down. a good point too. Yeah. That, I think 
She, so she might have her to adjustments. angle herself a angle little bit. In each, so she's saying yeah. it's reverse cowgirl and it's cowgirl. So yeah, yeah. I would say that's a I, good point. I have a feeling just from, I've watched this a million times where the girl does it and she gets into the groove and it slips out and she gets, it gets in the groove and she slips out. It's because the dick's not like really fully in her. Right. And I can see it from the outside. I am, right. I'm, I'm, I'm you fortunate have special enough. Powers. I have special powers where I'm, I direct people having sex, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, I know you think the dick's all the way in you, but it's really not. <laughs> I can I can show you, you know. Maybe his dick has never been in. It's three inches longer than just the entire time. Yeah. Maybe his penis has it's never really like, been inside it's like you. There's a hole, and it's like kind of going in and falling out because she's yeah. like she might be, you know. So she's so go like, slow. I think go too. slower. Go all the way up, all the way down, all the way in, all the way out, and like get yourself in an angle where he can kind of fuck you too. Right. Yeah. You know? No, I think this is great. And um, I think that's great advice. <laughs> does that if, make it, sense? It, 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 it absolutely does make sense. Like it makes full, sense in porn. So and then, I think you know? that, 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 yeah, I think it would be slowing down, making sure that it's actually, you know, you've yeah. got it fit right. And also, I understand that's happening a lot and that can be annoying, but really, it's kind of normal that sometimes it just slips out. Yeah. So I wouldn't no, say, I've like, seen it bad. happen. Yeah. It happens. It, I mean, just. Yeah. Use it. You could also use his penis to like stimulate your clitoris. Right. Use your hands to put it back um, in. And yeah. Make sure that I think when you're using your hands to guide it in, you're going to know if it's in the right position. That's very yeah. helpful. Thank you, Joanna. Okay. Yeah. Now we've got mm-hmm. a uh, another uh, email for uh, and, and thank you. Um, thank you so much to Mandy. Let us know how that goes. You have a professional here helping you. Another yeah. Professional. <laughs> um, I'm trying to see where I want to go next. Okay. How about some, you know play for him? Emily, I've been listening for a year and a half and I love your show. While there's a lot of info in your episodes and slight on anal sex, I have a few questions about anal play for men. What do I do? LOL. I'm not talking about springing it on an unsuspected partner. The one I have in mind in his 30s as well has expressed interest in all things butt related and even had me give him a rim job once before, but that was months ago and it's never come up again. I'm interested in exploring down there, but I guess I'm a bit afraid of one, starting something I can't finish, and two, that the approach would be inappropriate slash insulting since he's a guy and guys are sometimes weird about their back doors. I'd love some tips on how to get started and what exactly I should be doing down there orally and manually. And in the event things get too uncomfortable for me, how do I dial back on the anal play without creating an awkward moment (laughs) since he's so generous and attentive with the roles reversed? Thanks for your advice. And my intensity is my favorite purchase from last year. Monique H30 Nevada. Hey, Monique, we'll get to that in a minute. But the intensity is great, too. It's a uh, it's from in control. It's the it's the kegel exerciser that uses elect gentle electro stimulation. And you're like your kegel muscles just get worked up. But yours probably are like kegels of steel. <laughs> I'm just saying it's really cool. And she loved it. So Monique, I'm so glad you love the intensity. It's a really cool product. OK, so anal play for men. Do you hear what so, she's saying? She's I like, hear what she's saying, but did, did it sound like, didn't he already mention it once? Yeah, he likes it, but she doesn't know what to do when she gets down there. Oh. She gave him a room job, so she licked around. Okay. But she's like, what do I do orally, manually? How do it I get It sounds st- like she needs to get like a strap on. Okay, well, right? what about pre-strap? Pre-strap on? I mean, most guys that I know that are into like anal play, like they, they like getting fucked with strap-ons more so than just like... Like a, a finger, finger and right. stuff, you know? But you're, okay. I guess I, I know it. a lot of extreme people. You it's do. Like either but either strap no. on or no anal at all. <laughs> right, exactly. But let's go back to the beginning, when, yeah. maybe maybe early on before yeah. the strap-ons. Like I'm thinking, first of all, for guys, I think that using lube is very important. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for any anal play. Any anal know? play, you got to use lube. I love that you give him a rim job. You could use your fingers and start to warm up. You should always like, if he hasn't had a lot of anal play, you haven't. Again, you could use your fingers. You could use your mouth. You could start with just like one finger going inside. You haven't even done this in a while, Brad. You're just like, yeah, I just yeah. better strap on. But you put a finger inside, test it I out. feel like I like licking, you know. Yeah? But it depends. Does he want her to do it? Like, does he want her to dominate him? Or does he just into you know, Like, there's two different kinds of guys. There's some guys that really want to be dominated. What does it say? She says, yeah. um, he's and, expressed interest in all things butt related. Yeah. Okay. So, sound, um, I mean, you could it get... It sounds a, like he wants a strap on. What about getting a butt plug? I think he's with? like, yeah, right? Have you ever used a butt plug I've, on a guy? I've never used a butt plug on a Okay, yeah. so you could use a butt plug. You could get some um, some silicone, not some silicone, any loop, doesn't yeah. matter. But put it in, and you could like slowly put that inside of him and see how that feels. If you're, yeah. if you're, if you get, I would have an arsenal of toys by you. This is what I would do. Um, Monique, I would get a butt plug. 
I would get like lube, of course, and I would maybe if you want to buy like a strap on, but that's kind of a big investment if she's not sure she's going to be into it. So, and I would, I always say start slow, like start with your fingers and put your fingers inside you. It's kind of like the come hither motion when you put your, like, it's like looking for the G spot. Right. Because what we want to get to is the prostate. I guess some guys. Yeah. I mean, as someone who enjoys a lot of anal sex, I don't really like fingers in my butt that much. No, really? What do you like? You just like penises. penises. I'm like, what do you like in your butt? Penises or or toys, you know, smooth, like glass toys feel really good in your butt. Right, like a dildo. That's true Nice smooth toys. Right. They make these anal toys that have like all these ridges and stuff on there. I'm like, why'd they do that? For the nerve endings. (laughs) Oh, Because they pull them out like anal beads and stuff when you pull them out okay. and they like psh, go on the like the the, 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 right, the nerve endings on the outside. I, I like the you know just glass the, dildos the or glass, something. Yeah, just a long with the flared edge. Yeah. yeah, make sure everything that you use has a flared edge. And she's just nervous that it's going to be uncomfortable. And how do you dial back on the anal play? You flip him over and give a blowjob. Yeah. He, like literally, he's not going to yeah. be bummed he out. Already, guys don't say that stuff unless they know they're into it. Right. So he might be playing with a butt plug like, by, on his own at home. I think Waiting so too. for you to do it. For and you <laughs> could ask him. There's also the Black Pearl by, um, by Vibratex. There's this really cool prostate toy. Because he might want to, like, really, the reason why men are into it is they really can feel amazing, the peace spot. Yeah. Like, for men, they get amazing orgasms. And for so for some guys, you could experiment by giving him a blowjob and then sticking your finger, like, with some lube inside of his butt and just see how it feels, like your middle finger, your first, like, I'm sure he's going to love that or when he's about to orgasm. You could try that. Um, and if you want to try some toys, if you're not ready to invest, because a strap-on is kind of an investment. It is. I mean, or... But I would be, say go buy one. I've got it on my the website. sensation if you just bought a... A, dildo, a butt plug, a dildo, right? You your finger, yeah, you lube. See. And then again, if it gets awkward for you, just just stop. Like he's going to be happy that you even tried and yeah. then you just keep going with sex, give him a blowjob. Remember, you have to clean up. Like if you if you kissed him or used your fingers, wash your hands, um, wash, you know, rinse your mouth out and then you can resume regular like oral play or whatever. But just uh, don't yeah, go back and forth. It sounds like he, he opened the door. She's just got to walk in. You so know, we were looking for some stuff on the site that he, people, he wants it. He wants he it. Wants so it. I would he, say ask him too. A guy does not say that. They do not. They, they do, do not throw. Are, my husband has never ever said, "Hey, maybe you should go down there because it's just not." You just something do it when he's, he's not in. when he's not paying attention. No, I, I don't just do it on him. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like guys that want that, they want that. Right. I, you know. So yeah, I love this. And and Monique, here's the thing: you don't have to be figure this all out on your own. If he's open to it, you guys, why don't you go to a sex toy store together or go shopping on my website? I have a shop with Emily Tab and search anal and say like, would that be fun? With and then you guys could start talking about it. I also have. I know I do have a lot of stuff on my site, but. When I looked at things, funny enough, we've got um, Joanna Angel's anal sex seminar from the first time you were on my show in 2013. That's what we called the podcast. Oh, cool. Because we must have talked a lot about it then. Yeah. People um, always love to ask about it. And then sex. we have Welcome to Anal Sex Month. We've got called The Good, The Bad, and The Butt Plugs. This is all on the website. So I think this is pretty helpful for you, Monique. Let us know how it goes. Mm-hmm. Another email. Okay. Okay. Hi, Emily. Thanks so much for your podcast. It's really opened my eyes to how I can improve my sex life and its beginning. Okay. okay. I have lube now plus the intensity. Wow. Everyone loves the intensity and another vibrator. You'd be proud. My question for you is that it takes me forever to orgasm. Even when I'm highly, highly aroused, super well lubricated on my own. And in my house, it usually takes me over half an hour. Recently I was out about and my vagina decided it was it was go time. By the time I finished my chores and got home three hours later, I was almost demented by desire. I thought I'd be able to knock a quick one out with a vibrator, but nope, it still took me 40 minutes to orgasm. It was amazing, but sheesh, I'm so jealous of people, jealous of people who have a quickie with themselves. I've tried different fantasies, different toys, touching myself in different ways. I even watched porn, which I didn't like at all. I am married and the subject of sex with my husband should be another question, but it's not sex with him that is the issue. I really want to explore myself, find out what I like. It's sex with myself and I want to know about it. Help me with a quickie, please. Thank you again. You're awesome. Jenny, age 44, Australia. I think that it's because you're Which trying so hard. It, but yeah. You're overthinking it. You're really inside of your head. Um, I I feel like you've tried everything, but when you have this end goal, you're like, okay, I got the porn on. I've got the yeah. lube. I got the toys. It's not happening. You got to just dial it back and say, you know what? It's not going to happen maybe for a little bit, but I'm just going to give myself time to explore my body and figure out even if you don't have an orgasm right away yeah and sometimes it, it takes me a while to come sometimes i've got actually got very uh, annoyed like the other day because i was like doing one of my only fans masturbation shows and i'm like masturbating masturbating and then like my husband's in the other room and i'm just like doing my thing and then he just like 
comes in and interrupts me and he sticks like his fingers inside me and like I came in like two seconds. I'm like, how are you so much better at this than me? <laughs> Like, I don't know. That's so hot. Yeah, it was. Can people was go see that hot. on your website right yeah, now? Yeah, they can see it on my OnlyFans page. OnlyFans.com. <laughs> he just walked in and did that? He just walked in. Like, it was almost like he was getting frustrated by the amount of time that I was taking. <laughs> like, he was, like, sh- looking and at me. And you have people watching. I know. And it was really funny. So he just came in and, like, finished, finished the job for me. And I was like, how can you do that faster than did me? you say that's that on the thing? That's yeah, so I did. That's we so started cute. fighting about it. And it was, like, you really funny. You guys are funny. cute. Yeah, was, I want to go on your OnlyFans site. It was really funny. Yeah, I have a funny... Show it to me. Okay, wait, but Jenny, here's the deal, sweetie. I feel like I lo- first of all, I love that you're all so about. It's, it's it's normal. It's I totally it normal. It takes me a really yeah. long time to come. Because a lot of times it's because you're distracted. Yeah, I feel like you're you know, distracted. You're saying you've got to get your chores done. I mean, I'm sure it sounds like you've kids going. You know, you've, you've got a busy life, and I'm wondering if you're turning off your phone. Oh, if you really funny. have alone time. Wait, hold on. Show Finish. I want to show you a minute. Yeah. I w- if you really have alone time, if you're locking your door, if you're turning your phone off, if you're really like in the mindset. And for you, you said you watch porn. What was it for two seconds? Because if you're just like, I'm touching, I've got the porn, I've got the toys. I've got, it's like, yeah, it there's like it's two, I'm much. exhausted. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't do all those things. And I feel like breath is really important. So if you find that your mind is going a million places, you could kind of like take your breath down and bring it back into your body, breathe deep into your pelvic floor. You said that you're using the intensity. I got to say, for my kegels, I now have kegels of steel because of the intensity. And when you use the intensity, 15 minutes, 10 minutes a day, it uses gentle electrostimulation. I use it as a, like a meditation time. Like I just lay back and it does it. And you have to make sure with that, that you're breathing deep into your pelvic floor, like all the way down. And I feel like if you do that, Jenny, if you learn to move your breath throughout your body and focus on that, you're going to have more orgasms. Yeah. So I just feel like you've clearly have way too much going on. You you showed this in your email and you're going to be able to orgasm if you just dial it back, don't have all the expectations, breathe more. And also, I just want to make sure you're not on any medications, birth control, antidepressants. Those could all make it really difficult. Yeah. Okay. What were you going to show me? Oh, your boyfriend fingering you? No. Husband? Was, uh, Sorry. It was a funny little thing. Damn. From my, well, yeah, he was going down on me. I wish that I could masturbate and someone would just come in my house and yeah. finish it. Oh, here's from my OnlyFans page. It's me drinking coffee while he goes down on me. <laughs> is, that, is that your husband? Yeah. Oh, my, my God. Husband. We made a little gift out of it's it. It's like every morning at your house. That's yeah, because I was like drinking coffee and I was like sitting there and doing my one of my OnlyFans cam shows. And he like he came in and he's like, what are you doing? And that I'm is like, so He's like, cute. are your fans literally just watching you drink coffee? I'm like, I'm drinking my coffee and then I'm going to masturbate. And he's like, <laughs> let me help you. And then he went down on me while I drank the coffee. That's amazing. Yeah, and it was really funny. That's a good so. time. There you go. Oh my Pretty god, that's cute, so funny. It's on right? our Twitter. Or yeah, no. go on my Twitter at Joanna Angel. It's that is so there. funny. Yeah, it's very funny. Oh my god, you are hilarious. My not safe I love for your work life. Twitter. There's no masturbation in your house at all. No. No, no, no people work for you because there's already too much sex going on. <laughs> okay, should we and look at that? That one was fun. I'm getting <gasps> lifted up by a woman. I had a threesome on camera in my newest movie, which I think I should give you a copy. Yeah. It hasn't come out yet. Well, it's online. Now. I should give you a copy because you would like it more than anybody else. It is called Jews Love Black Cock. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all Jewish girls in the movie. Oh, my God. Shut up. It is. Yeah, it's no. Like, is that? Yeah. yeah. I see that. <laughs> she looks like our sister in the middle. Yeah, you and it's I true. Can be I Who's know. she? It is. Um, oh, my God. A Bella Danger, a very famous Jewish porn wow. star. So she li- she's a uh, like a thick, like a very thick, you know, bigger girl. And she, she lifted me up while the uh, I know you handsome went. black guy fucked me in the ass. I'm obsessed with Jews, the black cock. My, you should watch I want Jews to send Love Black Cock. I want to get a special, re- like, I need a special review for me of Jews Love yeah, Black Cock. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Where does it come out? Somebody out? tried to tell me, oh, that's offensive. I'm like, what's well, offensive? Well, I could see getting like 8 million yeah. emails right now, people are offensive, but. But whatever. I mean, I'm Jewish. It's a parody. Right, we're Jewish. <laughs> I, I can't say, I'm, I, I'm, I don't discriminate against cocks. Like, I yeah. like black, I've liked, yeah, yeah. I've liked you know. White, right. curvy. But in this particular movie, we focused brown. on one kind. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a plot? Yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's like it's my own kind of parody of Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> A rabbi hires me. I call myself in the movie Joanna Angelstein. 
<laughs> and a rabbi hires me to marry off his three dollars. Spit my water everywhere. Okay, yeah, what? His, his three dollars are, are getting old. Like I don't know. Did you did you watch Fiddler on the Roof yes, growing of up? Yeah, of course. Uh-huh. So it's, it's the, the, a rabbi hires me. His three dollars are are getting old, and he really needs them to marry rich Jewish men. He's worried it's not going to happen, and I'm a matchmaker, and I'm hired to find them rich Jewish men, and they keep rejecting what I find for them, and they. And then um, they're like, just bring like, in the black cock. Yeah, they, they find, yeah, a distraction, which is the black cock. And then, of course, by the end of the movie, I decide that um, I like black cock, too. Right. Yeah. Which, had you already decided that before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had made that decision. But in the movie. Right. No, in the it's, movie, it's it was gonna a... Be, it's, the Jews the are going to love I it. I decided it's, that. Too bad Passover's <laughs> over. We could have we yeah, launched it at, at Passover yeah, time. Yeah, well, I actually, I did put the first scene on my website. On Passover. On Passover, yeah. So you can find the scenes <laughs> online. There's so many different ways to celebrate holidays. But it'll holiday. be on DVD soon. But I should, I should give you a special Please, copy. Please, I would love it. And I think you would actually have a really good time watching it. And, I, um, I, you, do you grow up pretty religious? Or I no. grew up... Oh, okay. Okay, I grew up really religious. Really, so there's oh, a I lot could, of very no. Did yeah. your, so no, are your parents still religious? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no, no. I, I didn't grow up religious, but you know, yeah, Hanukkah did that. Yeah, yeah. Temple. So there's a lot oh of, wow, you grew up. Wow. I grew up religious. Okay, so. so they're happy. Your parents. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> We're thrilled with that. They're like, at least she's getting back to her could, Judaism. I know, We're so I glad I show my she's mom finally practicing Judaism. Because there's so many things I literally took quotes that my mom said and <laughs> said them in the movie. There would be times when I was writing the script and I would just like call my mom and like listen to her talk and I would like write down exactly what she was saying. So I wish I could show it to her, but I can't show it to her. She wouldn't be into that. Like, no, she wouldn't be into it. That's but hilarious. She was there like, in, mom, she was I there really, in you really inspired me. You inspired me. <laughs> And my That's Joanna amazing. Angelstein character. Joanna Angelstein. Finally, yeah. she's going back to the Steen. It's true. I'm yeah. so glad she gave up the Steen. Yeah. That's amazing. I've got to see it. Um, I'm anyway, so happy for you. You'll Joanna. get a kick out of it. Okay. okay. It's a DVD, like literally? It's Yeah, it's going to be on DVD. People do that. People are buying DVDs? Some people do. They should. Yeah. I don't mean that. I mean, like, yeah. I don't know. I no, wish I bought are, a cute. And then also people, you know, you they, can they subscribe watch the movie it. online. No, yeah. but they could buy it on your site Yeah, they could buy it on my website. Right. But we still call it like a movie coming out of DVD. You call it a movie, yeah. But I'm saying they could easily yeah they can pay watch for it. it on burningangel.com burning and, um, okay i think yeah, that's all we got time for i think oh, that this i'm was, sorry i diverted no I, it was amazing stop talking really about masturbation think, i mean should we started do talking unless you want to do one more Jews email love. okay 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 guess what we're all one over more, the place because we're amazing no, this is what this happens this is what we do if you guys like <laughs> emily and joanna we've done a lot of different shows together yes, so check it out we have um we have i don't know why you didn't invite me to that Porn, though, I, I should have given you a non-sex role in that movie. Yeah, I feel like mom look at my mom look at it. Really she funny. actually got kicked out of I it. I should have given you next one. You know, it's it's getting a pretty good response. So I'm, I'm I sure. do want to make a sequel. It's a popular, one day. popular subject right. matter that so. you tapped into. Okay, cock and yeah. Judaism. I've been with my boyfriend for two years, and he's very vanilla. The sex mm-hmm. is amazing, but it's just maybe two to three times a month. Mm-hmm. There's very minimal foreplay. He's gone down to me. Twice in two years, I love giving and receiving oral and making out and all those things. When I ask him to do certain things, he does, but only when I ask. The only thing that seems to stimulate him is when I do anal play, which I really enjoy. I'll wear, there's lots of anal on the yeah, show. Awesome. I wear a butt plug and the sex is way hotter. So my question is, how do I get him to do the things I like as well as the things he likes? Thanks, Emily. I love the show. I'm a huge fan. Alicia, 26 Orange County. So here's the question. He likes anal. She is anal. She doesn't, she likes anal, but she wants him to go down on her. He's gone down twice in two years. She wants foreplay. She wants the things that a lot of women want. And he's just not coming around to it. And I've been there. I don't know if you've been there. Probably not, Joanna, but I've been with guys who I who are great and they're not into they don't understand foreplay. Right. They don't even like performing oral. Like they've actually said that. And it's hard to get a guy to change his behavior of what he's already known or what he's already been doing. And so, Lisa, if you really like this, I mean, he's vanilla. Yeah, uh, that was weird because she said my husband's very, or was it boyfriend? Whatever. Yeah, She's a, boyfriend. He's very vanilla, but our sex life is amazing, but we never have sex. It was like a very... Exactly. Like, Do you realize that like people... The place. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. <laughs> yeah. You're absolutely right. And so it's interesting because you're like, the sex is amazing, but it's two to three times a month. So when you have it, it's amazing. But then also when you're having it, you want more oral, you want more yeah. foreplay, which com- means that you're a completely normal, typical woman. It's not just a suggestion. It's actually a requirement. But he likes anal play. He likes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. He likes to have anal sex with her. Right. Or she likes putting a butt plug in. It feels good. But she wants, and you're saying you want him to do what you 
basically getting your partner to get on board with what you want. Like you were saying earlier in the show with your now husband, you taught him what you liked. Yeah. Now not, it, that's, and but that's I also how it knew what I liked at that point. You know, right. But it of, sounds yeah. like that. So Alicia, let's say she just wants him to go down on her more. How would you handle that? I'm just push his head down. <laughs> I knew you were going to say yeah, that. I'm sorry. I'm the worst person. Sometimes, sometimes me and sex educators. But I'm it just works. Like, I say everything that you're not supposed to say. No, but that's that's <laughs> one way. If it's not happening, <laughs> maybe he wants you to tell me. Or we'll say, hey, "Baby, eat my pussy." <laughs> yeah. No. Honey, who's going to say no to that? <laughs> well, right. You know. Um, I feel like I feel like here's the thing that so. For, what, He's just sticking it right in. I think and like so. Now. And that's not okay either because you yeah, need to be turned on. You've got to be turned on. Yeah. And so I think you just can tell him that I, God, when we have sex, it's amazing. Um, I'm thinking about you all the time because she wants it more than he's doing it. It's only two, t- yeah. two to three times a month. And then you can let him know that like, I think like when you go down to me, it's the biggest turn on. And like, I really, I want you to be able, I want you to do that next time I see you or when you're doing it, be like, God, I've been thinking, oh, here's the thing. Next time you're fooling around, I'm cutting myself off. Next time you're fooling around, Lisa, say to him, when you guys are making up, be like, I've been thinking about you going down to me all day or all week. I would love, that. would be so hot right now. And then see what he does. Have him yeah. go down there. Maybe you need to tell him several times we often think we have these conversations with our partners once twice and they're going to change their behavior and it takes a long time to change behavior and it and maybe the way you told him that you needed more in the past did not work i'm assuming you've talked to him about this before if you haven't then you just got to say it like i'm not gonna like it's best to do it and like i love having sex with you things are amazing and be awesome to have more foreplay i need it to be turned on yeah but you know, I hope he likes oral sex because he's only done it twice in two years. If he says that's not my jam, I'm not into it, you have your answer. Right. I broke up with the guy because of that. I mean, there yeah. was other things, but that was kind of a main thing. He wasn't really concerned with my pleasure, learning about it. Yeah. He, you know. That doesn't sound. No. So to me, this would be a deal breaker. But if yeah, you love this gotta guy. Yeah, he's got to get excited about getting her off. You know, and right. she has to be excited about getting him off. Too, exactly. You know, and she us. loves it. She says she loves giving and receiving oral. And she asks him, she, she okay, here's the crux of it. And then we're going to go, when I ask him to do certain things, but only when she asks. So she wants to be able to. Yeah, it's annoying. You don't want to have to ask every single time. Right. You want him to want to do it. It's, right. It makes you feel So I would ask weird. him every time you have sex and yeah. then see if he brings well, it up. Just, on his own. You know, try to give hints. You could try to give just. That's true. Just physical hints, you know. Right. You could give hints and, or you could like Every you could drop knows. things. You're making out with a guy and he sticks his finger down there and then you just kind of lightly push. <laughs> they know what they're supposed to do. They don't all know. They don't, they don't, don't know. know. Some not, or they so just like don't. like a sign, an arrow? I don't know. Yeah, you could put an arrow. Beep, beep. <laughs> totally. Like a neon light yeah. or something. You could send him a text. Everyone's on the phone anyway. I'd be like, babe, babe, okay, go down, go down. Um, I feel like you might have to tell him every time if he's not. Or when you guys are out together, when you're like out to dinner or you're doing something, you can be like, babe, sex is great. I just, I feel like every time we're together, I'm asking you for, yeah. for like. He or, might get un- really uncomfortable if you bring it up like. Outside the bedroom. Well, you know? I always feel like sometimes yeah, in the sometimes. bedroom can make him super anxious yeah. about it because it, it, you're, I don't know, we're going in circles. Yeah. Well, I feel like now we could. Yeah. If you're tired of asking him every single time, I get it. But maybe if you just make sure that you do that, eventually he's going to get it. If he doesn't, you can just tell him, like, I need you to go down to me more when you're out. next. I'm just thinking, like, you're on a road trip. You're having breakfast. You could be like, let's talk about our sex life. Is there some things you've been wanting to try? And then he'll ask you, and you could both share. Like, I just love when you go down to me. That's what I fantasize about when I masturbate. Just, like, let him know how much important it is Or when he does it, tell him it's good. Yeah, because that was People don't like to do things they're not they're not good right at, you know right tell them it's great tell them you yeah. love it tell them why you loved it tell them you appreciate yeah. it i didn't like giving blowjobs till i knew i was like okay at it i used right. to stress about it because i was really? like i don't know what to do down there you know i didn't know i had no right. idea what God, to that's do that's another show yeah that's a whole other show yeah. but then once i got you know decent at it right i was like that's true like fun. give me blowjob it dicks people around, like doing blowjob. what they're good at that's <laughs> true it's true once no. you start getting the good response like oh my god yeah then you're like yes yeah exactly yes it's a good feeling. so maybe he's not getting that that's reaction. true he's younger too i think yeah. guys in their 20s they yeah i don't know not all guys but many men they just need more vaginas to practice on they might need some more yeah. so um and you might want to give him some tip yeah that's good give him positive feedback and then let him know what you like specifically. Yeah. So good luck, Alicia from Orange County. Thank you for emailing. Thank you, Joanne Angel. Yeah. This was awesome. Thank you. This is so much fun. I know. I love this. Um, and everyone can find you at Joanne Angel. Yeah. It's on the website. You can find it at burningangel.com, joanneangel.com, and onlyfans.com slash Joanna Angel. And um, yeah, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. 
We're going to put some stuff on Instagram here. We're going to do a little video on my on my Instagram Got right it. now. Oh, the other thing I want to tell you all is that I'm going to be on May 20th. I'm going to be at Wanderlust. It's, have you ever been to Wanderlust Cafe in Hollywood? It's so cool. It's a yoga that? studio, cafe, spiritual center. Okay, They're having right. intimacy and sexuality symposium. It's all day May 20th. I would love you to be there. And I think if you use the code sexy time, you can get 25% off tickets. There's a great panel all day long of sex educators, sex people. You're going to love this. I'd love to meet you all. So I will see you there. Joanna, thank you so much. You rock. Yay. And um, thank, thank you to you. my whole team. I really appreciate yes, you all. Fun. Thanks to my listeners. Um, thank you to Ken, Helena, producer Lark, Jamie, Michael. And thank you to everybody for listening. Was it good for you? Email me feedback at sexwithemily.com. <laughs>